Український кризовий медіатор. Ukraine Crisis Media Center continues its work and now we invite you to join the presentation of results of the second online course on decentralization that is free of charge. And uh, uh, this course is called Decentralization from Veteranism to Responsible Development. This course was created this year together with Prometheus Platform on the initiative of Ukraine Crisis Media Center in the framework of USAID program. Decentralization brings uh, better results and efficiency. Today we are going to speak with co-founder of Platform of uh, Mass uh, Open online courses, Primitius, Victoria Primachenka, Yulia Smukhanova is a co-founder um, um, of um, uh, USAID program, the centralization brings uh, better results and efficiency, and on Skype we will have Anatoly Skachuk, the author of the course and director on the scientific and the development issues at the Institute of Civil Society. Uh, we greet you, dear colleagues. Now, the presentation is on YouTube channel of UCMC and Dobra platform and Institute of Civil Society. Dear friends, you may ask your questions through comments, and we will refer them to other speakers. I would like to remind you that the uh, second online course started this year on the uh, 31st of October and uh, lasted five weeks and uh, we had a um, new topic each week. And first they started with the centralization of power principles in Ukraine and the legal basis uh, for reform of local governance and uh, territorial uh, structure of power. And then seamlessly we went to a practical training on efficient uh, um, management and involvement of citizens, search of opportunities for sustainable development and formation of own identity. Due to these video lectures, additional materials and participation in forums and tests, our students got knowledge and uh, they got certificates on the successful completion of the course. Uh, now we will get uh, the results uh, um, after the active phase of the course. And uh, uh, please, uh, Victoria, you are given the floor. Dear, uh, thank you, dear friends. I'm going to tell you about the results of this course. This course, an active phase, we had more than 4,000 people, 15. 0.5% got certificates. Uh, the average age is 22 years. And uh, uh, both men and women, partic women participated, 55%. These are women. And the number of people who have higher education, 87%. Women got more scores than men, 57%. This is uh, actual and positive and uh, really complementary course for our students. I would like to remind you that this is the second course of the cycle, and I hope that there will be the third one. Uh, thank you that you stated this. Uh, I also want to state that this is about the completion of the active phase of the course. This course is the previous one, Decentralization in Ukraine Theory and Practice. This is the title of the first course. They are on Prometheus platform. Anytime you may join and certification, anytime. Uh, Victoria, uh, do we have some statistics uh, how many people joined the course after completion of the active phase? Uh, many people join. For example, uh, during the first course of Mr. Anatoly, more than 8,000 students joined. So we may say that now uh, 12,000 people study decentralization online. This is a difficult topic. And uh, they are certified 15%. This is a lot for this course. On average, uh, on our platform, we have about 14 percent, but it is believed that 5 or 7 percent is a good result, and here we have 15.5 percent. So this is an impressive result. It is a pleasure that the participation of the women is really inspiring in this context. I would like to address the author of the course, Anatoly Fyodorovich. Do you hear me? I hear you. Anatoly Fyodorovich, after the course was launched, you had the opportunity to observe the students and to speak with them directly. Please share your impressions from this communication with your audience. For me, it was really a pleasure to see 
these students, they got really involved. They really participated. We spoke about identity, finances. We've discussed financing, not in the context that we have not a lot of money, but we were speaking about how we can save and how we can develop. I believe that many people who underwent this course, they got information that they need and they understood what they had. Please remind uh, the topics that uh, uh, rose the discussions that were the most interesting for the audience. So uh, there were some specific and uh, general questions. And people asked what will happen next, whether we will end the reform before changes to constitution and what prefects would do. So uh, people are interested in these questions and we included uh, such questions, and some people say that we may uh, end this reform without introduction of changes in the Constitution, that some steps should be made in order in 2020 had this on the new basis, and uh, there is a draft law on introduction of changes to the legislation. And there is a need of additional interpretation. Uh, that's why now I'm dealing with this issue in order to clarify them. So uh, also uh, there will be discussion in, UCM, in UCMC concerning this issue. Maybe you would like to note someone uh, from your students especially. The problem is I have some problems with my computer. And now I'm speaking uh, on the phone. I cannot look through my notes. There are a lot of names of people. I do not want to get confused because of there are too many names. I remind two. I remember two act active people, and they provided five or seven questions each time. This was really great. Thank you. We hope that we will be able to find these people and to send greetings. Uh, thank you, Anatoly. Uh, stay with us. And uh, I would like to say that uh, we saw that our Facebook uh, pages uh, got completed with comments from people who underwent the course. And uh, on the screen, you see that people, they are really happy with their certificates, uh, this information we got from the Internet. And uh, uh, there were representatives of Amalgamated Community from Dobra Program, Mila Zuzulinska, Franz Prisevska, uh, Amalgamated Community, Khersonska Oblast, Lubov Kavalova from Vashtanska, uh, Amalgamated Community also successfully completed the course was the program specialist, Lubomir Kava from Dobra Program. These are some examples. We have ma many more examples. That's why, uh, Lyudmila, I would like to ask uh, you uh, about your impressions, uh, Ilya. Uh, so you prepared two such courses and maybe there is a, a successful approach. How do you assess the results of this course? Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to greet everyone who got certificates. From my own experience, I know that it is difficult to study online. I studied uh, for a uh, master's degree abroad uh, online and this uh, training should be really motivated because people uh, learn uh, 
online and sometimes people have skeptical attitude toward online learning but uh, from my own experience i should uh, say that we, you should have proper motivation to study you should not go to class and it is difficult to find time to study that's why i believe that for women this is more efficient instrument because uh, I had two children and a job, uh, and it was difficult to find time and among um, all those priorities. That's why active women, they better study online. One of the goals of Dobra program is to support uh, awareness concerning decentralization reform, and we do it together with our partners, together with UCMC. We work with journalists to cover this reform. Also, we hold many media events and we developed uh, some reality show at the Gramada for a million. And we understand that the reform of decentralization is really comprehensive. Uh, there are many parallel processes that are ongoing. Not always everyone understands this. And maybe you heard about the achievements of the communities, about the changes to constitution, about prospect plans, but there is no comprehensive information about decentralization. That's why we work on this course and also we are working on offline training with universities to develop certification programs about the next course. I believe that we will see next year how the reform will develop. Now we do not have uh, proper plans, but uh, we understand that now many things uh, are happening with the reform. Maybe uh, some update of the course will be needed and additional information will be needed as well. I would like to ask you about how do you assess the prospects, especially for amalgamated community, whether the availability of such courses, uh, such online education, whether it influences the staff potential in the communities. Uh, I believe that these courses help to create the network of the agents of changes, this motivated people who allocated their personal time for studying and they are interested the most in this reform. They would like to introduce these changes in their cities and their communities. And the reform of decentralization is about this. People should take their decisions in their own hands in their communities. That's why this involvement. Many people may get involved after completion of this course and they may get this information. That's why I believe that this is a really important component for training in these communities. And this also allowed us to provide the information that we worked on with our program and we provided this information through our course and not only our community, other communities may also join this course. Thank you. Maybe our audience have some questions to the speakers. We are given the floor. Good afternoon, Andre Megel. Uh, so you spoke about men and women. And what about the geography? What settlements got involved? to go in more detail and what it provides for communities, for example, for teachers, whether they use it, whether these are the participants of the process that may be able to implement all these things to life. Uh, so teachers, uh, they use such courses and we follow this through this topic because everything that goes to the university goes uh, through teachers about geography. These are three big regions, Kiev Oblast, Lviv Oblast and Dnipro Oblast. This is really of interest. And when we will have this course for a uh, half year, this is for statistics. And we will see if we have a person in some cities that undergo this course, then we will say that we have geographical uh, things. So this is important and we will do it. Uh, so, uh, from the moderator, the question to the author of the course, me as a student, I have some questions from me to the author of the course. Do you hear me? 
In one of the discussions, a question was raised concerning waste management, including the issue concerning polygons near Kiev and the villages adjacent to this territory. And you said that we should speak not about burying of this waste, we should have incineration plants or processing of wastes. I would like to ask you about prospects of development to build infrastructure of incineration. I know that at the level of Kiev, this issue is, brings a lot of discussion among people in power and in civil society. What is your opinion? How can we stimulate this area? I remember this discussion. I even commented and I said that we should study the experience of Krakow. They created a wonderful plant there. They convinced people that they should process waste. They should uh, uh, incinerate. And uh, it's better than just to uh, dig it in land, because it will bring harm later on. And in our course, uh, when we discussed this, um, this name uh, from paternalism to development, we should go away from thinking that someone will do it. We should say that we will do it ourselves. We are capable, or we may do it together. Uh, we were speaking about partnership in waste management. This is uh, issue number one. What is important is that uh, uh, they should work properly with the waste, and you can put a high-tech equipment for incineration or processing, and it should be cost-efficient. Sometimes we are lagging behind. When everyone sorted, we didn't sort. Now we started to sort, and people now understand that uh, uh, not all sorted waste can be processed because uh, uh, economy is not in play there. It is easier to incinerate uh, on the new, using new equipment and uh, less uh, CO2 goes uh, to the air. And you should not spend a lot of money uh, to collect and not to um, process it, and sometimes the waste is just uh, in the storage facilities and nothing happens. So we should have a creative approach, and we should uh, find uh, algorithms for different situation. Sometimes it's difficult to utilize uh, some waste, and in some areas it is very simple. If we use this organic uh, waste, we will decrease 40 percent of the waste that should be brought out, and uh, uh, we will spend less money from the budget and uh, from the budget of people who spend for this utilization. I do not know whether I succeeded in uh, providing this idea to you, but you should search for different options, and we provide options for you, but this is not end list. Because the world is dynamic and everything is changing, new technologies appear constantly. So this is like a piece of lecture. Thank you. So we found an ideal time to uh, sum up the results of this course. This uh, coincides with the results of the year and forecasts and plans uh, for the next 2020. Uh, please, uh, dear colleagues, please share your forecasts. Maybe forecasts uh, are thankless tasks, but uh, we would like to have some hopes and wishes for the next year. Please, you are welcome. You are given the floor. And Anatoly Fyodorovich, maybe you will continue. Hello, do you hear me? Should I start? Yeah. What about your priority? You know, I am an optimistic person. I hope that in uh, Autumn 2020, we will have elections on the new territorial basis, and the first uh, stage of decentralization will be completed. And in October, after elections, we will have a lot of work because 
a lot of deputies will be replaced, many heads uh, of executive committees will be uh, also changed, and whether we have money for all of this uh, or not, we will help those newly created amalgamated communities in uh, training of uh, staff, and this is really um, interesting, an interesting task. The main threat here is that if the government is unable to deal with macroeconomic indicators, because uh, macroeconomy is now really being confused, uh, and we uh, wish the government to deal properly with macroeconomic issues, if uh, they succeed, uh, th they will be great, and uh, if not, in several years, we we'll uh, we'll just start from scratch, and we hope that this won't happen, and we hope that Ukraine will be united and competitive and uh, decentralized and democratic nation. A decentralized and democratic nation. Thank you. Uh, first, I would like to greet everyone who participated in this course, because this is a big win. Uh, next year, as we speak today about uh, development, self-development and training, I would like to wish everyone to help implement the communities, development of communities. Uh, and I see that this development is happening in all territorial uh, amalgamated communities. Each time I visit, I see new openings, I see improvements in lives of people, and I wish to all students and all communities and other territorial amalgamated communities to introduce these changes further in our community. Uh, I would like to thank you for this course. I would like to thank our colleagues and uh, Anatoly. These two courses are valuable. I thank Dobra program, and I really thank everyone, because such training, such courses, uh, they are free of charge for students, but they need a lot of money, time, and competence. That's why we thank our dear colleagues for this opportunity. The program ended in active phase, now it is in passive phase, and I invite everyone to join and uh, uh, raise questions, uh, to discuss, uh, and to ask questions uh, to Anatoly to develop the scores. Prometheus uh, com uh, completes the scores uh, positively, we have more than one million of students, and uh, I invite everyone to spend time learning during these uh, Christmas holidays. Yes, you may spend your time with uh, such valuable things. You may join our courses anytime you like. These courses on decentralization in Ukraine, theory and practice, and decentralization from paternalism to responsible development. Once again, I would like to greet you with the successful completion of the course and those who continue this course. Thank you very much. I wish you all success. Goodbye, everyone.